All right, guys, welcome to another segment of Gamers Need Food Badly. Today, as my assistant, we have Tim. Hey, guys. And here's all the ingredients that we're going to do for Mario. What is it, Mario? <laughs> <laughs> Mario is just Mario is what? Underwater Mario. Mario, Mario underwater jambalaya, right? Yes. Perfect. You can cut that out, right? No, no. we're gonna keep it in. Ah. Here we go! Our greetings we have this. We have some filet of catfish. <laughs> filet of catfish. Perfect. We have an ugly squid that look like a hoodie. That's actually old boy. Yes. For anybody who catches that reference, I applaud you. That's actually octopus. And we got some driveway rocks. <laughs> Would you like to point out? There you go, son. Huh? <laughs> and we have. Where did he go? <laughs> we have some tomatoes, some whole tomatoes that's been diced up. We have some squid cakes. Tell me about that. Tell me, tell me about that. What is this shit? This is squid cakes. I have no idea. This is like, look, this is like fucked up cotton swabs that have been used already. I, I don't know. That's so, perfect. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's squid nuggets. Squid nuggets, squid whatever nuggets. the hell it's yeah. oh, oh, whatever the hell it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got some tomato paste. Mm -hmm. Tomato sauce. Alright. We got some, we got a variety of dry peppers. We got what else? We got paprika. Okay. I can put it down. I got it, man. We got some oregano. Okay. And cumin. Cumin. So Mushrooms, oh, and mushrooms, salad, and bay leaf. There we go. And oh, I didn't even see the bay leaf. Yeah, the bay leaf right there. So we're going to take it to the stove and get this going. So right now, we're about to tenderize this squid because squid is known to get really, really chewy and get chewy and tough. So is it an octopus? Squid, octopus, whatever. <laughs> they all from the same family. All so right. this bad boy is going in a pot regardless. Okay. So anyway, back to what I was saying, we're going to tenderize this because it's known to be chewy and tough if you overcook no, it or boil it. So to prevent that, we're going to let Tim beat the hell out of it with this meat mallet, well, meat beater, and put oh, it yeah. in the pot. So do you think, Tim? All right, show me what I'm supposed to do before I get so, started. You want to take one leg, right? One leg at a time. One leg at a time. You just want to beat the hell out of this meat beater. Okay. So. Go all the way down. Oh, five or six strokes. The problem is more than five or six strokes. Are you intentionally making this in your window? You know, so. <laughs> or are you absent-mindedly doing this? I don't know. Either <laughs> So, okay, I'm gonna go with absent mind. All right, so all right, you go ahead and. Okay, now now do I have to go all the way or just kind of like the just the, of it? just the meat of it, the, the meat of it. Okay, really right here. And nothing going on over here. God. Yeah. So now we're gonna bring this bad boy over and put it in a pot of boiling water, salt water. Okay. All right, you cool. Dip it around a little bit, pull it by the head, and dip it around, swish it around a little bit. Okay. Pull it up. Oh shit, I'm moving. All right, you can drop it in there now. Gonna let this stand for like two to three minutes. Well, not even two to three minutes, like two minutes. Got a spinning pocket. So, gotta love these electric stoves. Yep. Yeah. All right. 
Now, Tim, can you grab a bowl so we can put this bad boy in? Uh, I don't think you'll do that. All right, people, now that we boiled it, now it's time to cut it up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Starch and fry it a little bit in some coconut um, oil to get it, let it get a little coated so it won't fall apart. Our plants are open. Uh, hand me that black spoon, please, if you would, sir. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the cooking process by adding it into a bowl of cold water. Cold ice water. Holy Trinity, apparently. 
to There's that. four things on here also I want to want to clarify. This is a holy quartet. Quad. Quartet. Quad. Well, no, quartet. because... Shut up, man. It's a quad. <laughs> we can keep it a trinity because we're going to leave it. The B leaves are going to leave All right, so what am I doing? Am I just holding this here? Yeah, we're we'll going to wait till this heat up. Then we're gonna add something. I think we might have a problem with that. No, I'm bored. Okay, so Eric tells me to dump the whole thing in. It has been dumped. Alright, All right. now I was about to add some Rotel tomato. 32 ounces. Now we're gonna add the squid. Octopus. Octopus. <laughs> Chopped up plants. Mm -hmm. Eight ounces of tomato sauce. Six ounces of tomato paste. Uh, well, good folks, it slipped. Two and a half liters of water.
finish it off, we're gonna add this whole bag of rice. So I definitely thought we would be like cooking the rice separately and then like adding it. I'm a little surprised that this is what's happening right now. Explain that to me, Eric. I mean, you can either do it either it way. It really doesn't make a difference. It, does, it doesn't make a difference. Whatever way you feel is comfortable. You could boil it first and put it in, or you could just let it boil in that and huh. do that way, you know? So I figured there was a difference with like putting the lid well, on it, creating the pressure. I feel like, I feel like it absorbs flavor better. It absorbs flavor better. And then, like once it get halfway done, you can shut it off and let the steam do the rest of the cooking. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at the final moment, the moment of truth. We all about to taste it and see if we all like it. What is it? Again, it, is it says called? Mario. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is Mario Aquatic Jambalaya. That is not what it's called. It's, it's Mario's called? Underwater Jambalaya. Close Thank enough. you very much. I'm shaking a bite. All right, so Timmy's first. Timmy's first. first. It's a big bite. That's a big bite. He's a big boy. Got a big boy pants on today. Tastes like Jambalaya. There's nothing really weird going on here. Tastes the octopus piece. I gotta find That's it right there, I think. That's mushroom. That's like mushroom. It's mushroom. I think I ate the octopus piece. Is this the octopus? No. It's more mushroom. I think. There you go. You need some fun. <laughs> That's definitely octopus. <laughs> today, Patrick. He's going to be featured on our Who's Next podcast episode that will be coming out. Well, this video is going to come out later, so it doesn't matter when it comes out. It would have already came out. Yes, it would have already came out. So, Once again, go ahead. Bioshock. Just play Bioshock and everything. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We might have to explain that to Patrick. You never played Bioshock Infinite? How does it make you feel, Patrick? <laughs> the textures. 
chewy. It's really chewy. Yeah, it's chewy. It's chewy, I'm not gonna lie about that, it's chewy. I thought the condom was gonna help it, but it's like gum. I came to the conclusion that <laughs> it's like crunchy. You can't gum. cook squid or octopus for a very long napkin. time. Uh, <laughs> I'm not I'm not swallowing it. Yeah. <laughs> you have a napkin. <laughs> right there. I'll leave the Ooh. seafood to area. Is that cannibalism? I felt like it I would just chew it forever. Yeah, no, that was the uh big uterus. I just never yeah, stopped chewing. I just ate the squid nugget. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, sorry Mario, with your underwater jambalaya. Looks like it's not working for everybody. It's either that or Eric just fucked it up. No, I ain't fucked up, no. <laughs> the flavor is there, but the aquatic pieces is a no no. Just keep it traditional. I'd like to point out with, with Mario, you could easily just had some pasta. Simple. I said that. I suggested that. You know what he said? It's simple. Yep, that's right. <laughs> we want to make it more. Like, I mean, this is just the point of this thing is to like try something different and interesting and see if we can eat it. It's simple just to do a how, spaghetti. How would spaghetti or pasta have been like related to the Mario universe except for the fact that he's Italian? That's just fake. Except for the fact that he's Italian. That's just All when does, tools when, does he, when does he <laughs> eat spaghetti? When does he have a noodle at any point? When he's not rescuing the princess. Yeah. When do you when do you play? I Mario think the TV Thomas show did that because I have a drop of Mario going. Oh, it does was spaghetti. Nineteen ninety. Ah, spaghetti. Ah, ravioli. And we could do Mario spaghetti, but I thought this would be interesting because there's a New Orleans twist with the jambalaya and seafood because Mario does all the underwater adventures and he has squid. Octopus, all these things that he The eats. mushroom, the mushroom really is so the flavor of the mushroom like really good. Yeah, the mushroom's good. And of course the more I have mushroom, so you know. Mushroom. Mushroom. Yeah, so anyways, you went to E3. And that's yeah. gonna be what the episode's gonna be about who's next. But don't want you to talk about all of that just yet. It's for the podcast. But I would like you to talk a little bit about the Mario game that you got to play. Because you said you waited in a nice long line for it, right? I waited the first day. I went. I waited uh, about two hours in line to play Mario Odyssey. Um, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't bad. I guess it's not so bad. Yeah, yeah. He said it's four hours for Call of Duty. Yeah. Shooters were good. Pretty popular lines. Pretty sure. Plus the amount of Mario they had over 60 screens you could play on. So yeah. 60 different Switch units you could play on. And then uh, a lot of people were waiting to play on the main TVs. They did have Switch handheld units on the side and I waited on that. I found it to be a lot quicker. Um, the gameplay is great. Uh, is it just like Mario 64 but you're gonna say? Like is it still like the same kind of format? It's, so when you play you, you collect moons. And then it's not like Mario 64 when you get a star, it brings you up a level, you have to go okay. back in and recess okay. the whole level. Yeah. It's, you just keep going. I played one board, um, New Dog City, and I found like six moons. Is so that you just, just have them like hidden around? Yeah, and uh, is, is New Dog City the one where the humans, the yeah. people, the like, like actual city? Yeah, it's supposed to be based on something with Donkey Kong, uh, Paulina, who, was, okay. who you rescued in Donkey Kong, is like the mayor of New Dog City. And they have they have like a bunch of little quests you can do like one I went to this the grand hall and she's like she needs intro, uh, she needs musicians so I have to find five musicians to, to start her show and you get a moon as a reward I'm pretty sure I only found one musician I found the drummer he was easy to find he was right outside <laughs> <laughs> you know, I lost interest in you know he was on a it was a ten minute time I limit, so I just kind of run around see what I can do so uh, Mario possesses people and gives them the Holy Ghost Mario so the hat is called Cappy and when you throw Cappy on somebody, or he'll possess, he'll go in their body and you can control him. <laughs> now, <laughs> what is it? And I see that the person gets a little mustache. I've seen it. He possesses a frog and he gets a little yeah. mustache. I think he possesses a dinosaur in there too, like a T-Rex. Yeah, and then the new trailer they had in the beginning is a, a big T-Rex. I had no clue what the game was going to be, and next thing you know, it's got a Mario hat on and Mario's yeah. controlling it. Um, <laughs> Mario possesses people. So where this power came from, who knows? It, why an Italian plumber has his power, who knows? It's the hat. Him and the hat. Supposedly they, they explain the hat to you. He finds So did his hat just evolve over time and get back? Oh, he was a dinosaur 65 million years ago! <laughs> <laughs> Since Mario Bros. movie! <laughs> yeah, 
two Lose your lives, check it out. You got two ghosts <laughs> to the meteor. Like, yeah. Oh, look. It says magical hat. It's magical hat. It's been passed down from generation to generation, and they found an, an old kingdom's sewage line at some point. Now, apparently, if the person already has a hat on, you cannot possess them because they already oh, have a hat. Oh, shit. I just hit that square. You fucking right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think no it's more strange than still eating. <laughs> Some hungry bastards. It's like, it's just, just, eat, just eat the rice. It's good. Just eat the rice. It's good. good. Just don't eat any meat. <laughs> 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 around everything in there. Get around everything in there. <laughs> rice and mushrooms. <laughs> Did I right. find it more unique? It, it was, it, it, is it more unique than other Mario games? What I'm wondering is, are they going to have any regular power-ups? Because usually you get the fire power stuff right. like that, so if... if Using the hat to take over stuff is now like a power up. Mm -hmm. um, it just feels like be it. it just feels like Kirby. Like it just it's like let's Mario make Mario Kirby. Kirby. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that because of me. Yeah, you manipulate. It's the same principle. You get you get an enemy. Kirby you, swallows you, them. Yeah, but you you get to control some sort of version of that enemy. You get something from that enemy, and you use something from that enemy to progress. Right. That's Kirby. And now that seems like the same thing to do with Mario. Well, you know, on Kirby, you don't necessarily have to use certain uh, swallows to uh, progress through the game. Yeah, it's it's more of a I, it's more of a preferable thing, which probably you want to absorb to get through. It's not. It ain't a main focus of where you have to suck up that person to progress. I know some of them have time limits, like when you you take over a bullet bill, you use it to get over a gap, but then they'll start flashing and Mario will end up popping yeah, out of it. Yeah, yeah. But then um, one, they had a guy who was controlling a remote control car, so I took over him and I got to control the remote control car to get a boom. And it's basically, I had as much time as I could, because it was hard to drive that little thing. <laughs> <laughs> so you pretty much the So the hat guys were merciful to you. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So it's it's like in a sense like Zelda could need certain items to get certain things in other words like that, right? I'm, sh I'm sure they'll have it like yeah, like yeah. you need the bullet bill to get across a big yeah. gap that you you normally cannot jump across. Right. Um, I'm sure that Nintendo always has like stuff they don't show. Right. Uh, they did have cool parts where you go on a pipe and then it'll go from 3D to 2D, and it's basically straight up old school Mario controls, and it's. 2D scrolling, and then when you when you come out of it, like at the end, you jump out of it, then jumps right back into 3D. Your back right is pretty cool. And the music changes and everything, so it's really cool. It's pretty cool. I've never been a big Mario fan, though. Like, I, you know, just wear his t-shirts. Right, but I couldn't tell by choice. I wore his t-shirt for today's theme, but like, I just, I don't know, I played Mario when I was a kid, and like, I, I respect like his character, yeah, he doesn't respect for, like yeah. what he's done mm -hmm. in gaming. You know what happened, but like anytime there's a new Mario, I'm not interested in playing. It. Yeah, like when, when I when I think of Mario, I'm like mm, another Mario. I, I, I like Mario Galaxy, a kid. but not anymore. I, I like, like Mario Galaxy. I played that. I know Mario Sunshine. You kind Sunshine, of Sunshine, yeah, I, I, that was the last one that I got into. I'm I wanted to play Odyssey. First of all, probably because there's not going to be much else I'm going to play for the Switch other than that. So to be another game, and um, I. I Mario games. I, I still, I still play them. I'm interested to see what this is, but um, not interested in the jambalaya. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't tell you the last Mario game that I did buy. Oh yeah, yeah, I buy them all. They're all fun. It's awesome. I can I, tell you the last one I didn't beat. Well, I beat it, but my kids actually played through it. Was a uh, Super Mario 3D World. Oh, okay. I started it with them, and then one day they're like, "Hey, can you come beat Bowser?" Yeah, it's like, finished. Little <laughs> yeah, that's fun. That's fun. That it wasn't beating them. Like, that's, that's the one for the Wii U, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah that's kind of what happened to me with Zelda. Me and my wife were playing it, and my wife was playing it most of the time, and she got to the last boss, and she was just like, "Oh, this is really hard, dude." For me, so I beat the last boss, and now I'm just kind of like, "We <laughs> care about the last <laughs> I've already, already seen the end. My wife doesn't play games, so I still got to do it. I'm working on the third dungeon of Zelda. I'm only the first two. I still, I, I still have to cut y'all off, but I'm eating the part that you found it. Yeah, it yeah, you are. It ain't really. <laughs> <laughs> the part that, that you like, it, it ain't chewy, bro. It's like, look the texture like. Maybe part of the like, octopus, you just didn't pound out enough. Yeah. 
like the we didn't pound like the like the very small part. We just okay. pound it the meaty part. Right. You ain't that bad. Okay. Oh, you mean the part that actually got tenderized? Yeah. yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah. Yes. You ate the you ate this part. I don't know what I ate. I ate, he handed me. Yeah, I threw octopus in there. Yeah, it was <laughs> octopus. But yeah. no, okay, yeah, but it's actually just stay away from the squid nuggets. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't get any of those. And after, but I'm not. No. Well, you don't want to hunt for them, sure. Not interested in experiencing that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is Mario's Underwater Jambalaya. We thought we'd be a little creative and just try something different here. Uh, that's what this show's doing. We're just trying different stuff and seeing what's good. Uh, next episode, I believe we're going to do uh, Sonic's Chili and Hot Dogs. So that one, I'll probably not go ahead and fuck that up and let y'all just do something really good and have some simple chili dogs. We will find a way. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I there, could find There was them. talk of hedgehog dogs. Okay. That's not going to well, happen because I don't think we can some find fox, it. Some fox dogs? Sure, if anybody knows where we can get fox meat. What the fuck is a knuckles? What is a knuckles? What? I mean, kitten. Is that a real animal? That's, yeah, that's it native is. to the Australian. Alright, and a kitten dog. Well, Noology just do neutral or substitute? There you go. Well, you know, we might have no. to. I was about to pull up a picture for you. No, because it's recording on you. Okay. Okay. Yes, we'll do it. Thanks, guys. That's it. Bye bye.